Hello friends, welcome to Hello English. My name is Rupam. In today's video, we will discuss about four important habits which will help you to improve your English skill. Try these four things at home on a regular basis and see how nicely you can improve your English. I got messages from you guys saying that, Sir, can you please tell us some important tips which can help us to learn English in a fast pace so that we can learn English in a faster way. So I thought, let me share some ideas with you. So I have made this video today with four important things which you need to take care. If you are willing to improve your English, these four things you need to take care of and you need to develop it as a habit. So today, we will discuss about four things we need to practice every day to improve our English. And your English will reach the next level, believe me. So let's begin with today's video. Well, learning a language is similar to learning an instrument. Like this instrument, guitar. In one day, you cannot play that. It needs practice. Suppose if I play something. You know the tune? Let me know, okay? So what I was telling you, to learn an instrument, it takes time. It takes a lot of practice. It takes a lot of dedication. Same way to learn some language. English, Spanish, any language. It takes dedication, it takes patience, it takes time. And you should not give up. Got it? So two things which you need to keep in mind. The first one is that you should practice every day. It's not like today you sit down in the early morning with your books and you decide to practice the whole day till night. No, that will not work out. Practice every day means Take out 10 minutes, 15 minutes, as much time as you get and dedicate that time on learning your English language. Suppose evening you get some time from 7 to 7.15. Dedicate that 15 minutes only for learning your English. You will not do any other thing, only learning English. Got it? So in this way, if you practice every day, and if you have the discipline and consistency, you see where you reach in the next three months. The second thing which you need to take care of is when things get tough, don't quit. I mean to say, many a times situation will come, a feelings will arise from inside that no, it is getting tough for me. I feel I'm wasting my time. Let me give up learning English. Let me try something else. But my dear friend, if you quit, you are gone. You need to forget learning anything. But if you don't quit that moment, if you continue, you just see the change which comes inside you in next few months. Believe me, English is a very beautiful language. And if you learn English, people will love you. You will get more respect. So these are the two important things which you need to take care of before you develop any habits. The first one is that daily practice. Number two, don't quit. Got it? Now let's begin with the important part of today's video. Four things which you can develop as a habit. The first one is absorb. Absorb means to get more and more information, to collect more and more information. So how we can do that? Number one, reading. Number two, listening. Number three, watching. Yes, these three modes of learning helps you a lot. So number one, listen. Listen whatever you like, but it should be in English. I see many of my students, they keep writing to me, Sir, this is a very good series. When I open it, it may be in Tamil or Punjabi or Assamese. No, I'm here to teach you English. So I expect you guys 
to watch something which is in English and share that with me. Not in any original language. Got it? So listen whatever you want but in English. One thing which is coming in my mind is English speeches. You can open this channel and you will find so many famous celebrities, sports person, politicians. They all come and talk there. And the best thing about this is you get subtitles. You can try watching this channel. The second thing is that you need to read. Reading will help you to improve your vocabulary. Believe me, if you develop the habit of reading every day, your English will be so strong that no one can beat you. Reading enhances your vocabulary. I'll give you an example. You may come across many speakers. The way they speak English will blow your mind away. You will just like listening to them again and again how it happens only because they are very good in English and how they have improved their English. One of the reason is by reading. So give importance to reading. So what to read? Anything you like my dear friends. For me if you ask me I will read some comic books, some easy novels and once I'm comfortable with these things I will go to newspaper. Because I know, if I start reading newspaper on the first day, I will not understand. It is difficult to understand the newspaper if you are a beginner. So read some comic books, some easy story books, easy novels, like this type of books. I'll give the link in the description. If you wish, you can buy and read. Then watching. Watching is also entertainment. So whenever you are free, whenever you are bored up, what something in English, English contents, some comedy series, some cartoons. But one thing I want to add here, select the accent which you are comfortable with. I would ask you to watch something which is easy for you to understand. Suppose this type of videos. Jack was very thin. Of course, come in, come in. The kind giantess gave Jack some vegetable stew. He was enjoying it so much. Got it? Now, just reading, listening, watching will not help. You have to make a routine. How you can do that? Make a timetable. Say from 7 to 7.15, every day you have time and you can read. So Monday, I will read books. Tuesday, I will listen to a podcast. Next day, I will watch some videos so in this way if you keep shuffling if you keep changing your task it will be interesting plus you will not be bored up now remember one more thing whenever you are watching something or reading something keep a notebook with you because whenever you come across something new note it down try to find the meaning try to understand that word this will enhance your vocabulary and yes, at least 10 to 15 minutes, try to give to this practice. Second habit which you can develop is is your pronunciation. You will see there are many people who speak very good English, fluently, very fast, but their pronunciation is not good. So what happens? when your pronunciation is not good. People will find difficult to understand you. And when people do not understand you, they will give less importance to you. They will not listen to you. So it is very important to improve your pronunciation. When your pronunciation is correct, your accent automatically changes. And people will love your accent. So how to improve your pronunciation? It's very easy. Just log into Google. Okay, go to Google and type any word, something new which you have learned. For example, Wednesday. It's not Wednesday. See how it's said. Wednesday. Wednesday. 
Next, America. Many of us we say America. So when we type in Google and try to find the pronunciation, it says America. America. Got it? America. So in this way, you can develop your pronunciation. Number three, writing helps to remember more. If you are planning for some competitive exams, you should develop the habit of writing because without writing, our memory will not be able to store information for a long time. So if you want your memory to store the information for a longer period of time, you need to develop the habit of writing. Writing helps to remember more. Okay, so one example I'll give you. Suppose there is a new word, jolly. So you, have, you can find out in the Google the meaning of jolly. Jolly means someone who is happy and joyful. So when you get this new word, write down at least four or five times and see that you will not forget. This is a very good technique. I used to apply this technique before my exams. Whichever topic I used to feel is important, I used to practice by writing. Also, you can learn some phrases. For example, thanks so much. Now, if you just read once or twice, you may forget this. So, develop the habit of writing. Write down, thanks so much. Thanks so much means if someone gives you something valuable, you can just say thank you so much. Or if someone helps you, you can say thank you so much. Or another one, that sounds great. If someone tells you something which you have not expected, something positive, very good. You can say, that sounds great. Finally, discussion. You need to develop the habit of discussing with others. Discussing in the other way is like conversation with others. It may be oral conversation or it may be in the form of written conversation. So what you can do? In social media, select a group where people are very active, the members are very active. Post your views, maybe related to yoga, related to current affairs, sports, anything of your choice. Write something and see how people respond to you. When people respond, you respond back. In this way, a chain of response you will find and that will help you to put across your words, your thoughts, and in that way you will develop your English. Got it, my dear friends? So I want you to develop these four habits. These are very important. Also, you need to remember, it takes time to create good habits. But once you build good habits, you can make a change. You can develop your life. So what good habit you have? One good habit can you share with me? In the comment section, please write let us all know what you like, what is your good habit. Develop good habits, my dear friends, because when you develop good habits, it becomes very easy for you to learn faster. People can see you, they can learn from you. This is another way of helping the society. And when you have good habits, people will get more attracted towards you and you can teach others also. In this way, you can build your brand name. So my dear friends, this is a video for, for today. If you have any question, you can ask me. Thank you so much.